As the manna was given to the children of Israel fresh on a daily basis, this is your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nugis. Lift Him Up, page 208. Christ came to seek the lost sheep, July 13th. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance, Luke 5:32. While on earth, Christ accomplished the work for which He left the throne of God in heaven. He worked for humanity, that through His work, humanity might be elevated in the scale of moral value with God. He assumed human nature, that He might elevate the human family, make them partakers of the divine nature, and place them on vantage ground with God. His every action had been in behalf of the fallen world, to seek the sheep that had strayed from the fold, and bring it back to God. The Lord saw us in sad condition, and sent to our world the only messenger that he could trust with his great treasure of pardon and grace. Christ, the only begotten Son of God, was the delegated messenger. He was ordained to do a work that even the angels of heaven could not accomplish. He alone could be trusted to do the work required for the redemption of a world all seared and marred with the curse. And in this gift, the Father gave all heaven to the world. What a change was this for the Son of God, Him who was adored of angels, the light of heaven. He might have gone to the pleasant homes of the unfallen worlds, to the pure atmosphere where disloyalty and rebellion had never intruded, and there He would have been received with acclamations of praise and love. But it was a fallen world that needed the Redeemer. I came not to call the righteous, said He, but sinners to repentance. He came to represent the Father in bringing the message of hope and salvation to our world. He lived not for Himself. He did not consult His own ease and pleasure. He did not yield to temptation. And He condescended to die in order that sinful men might be redeemed and lived eternally in the mansions He was to prepare for them. His mission was to teach souls who were dying in their sins. This work Christ had laid upon everyone whom He had purchased. The Lord will give ample light to all who will be true and loyal to Him. His mercy and the gracious influences of His Spirit remain the same for all who will receive them. His offer of salvation does not change. It is man who changes his relationship to God. Many place themselves where they cannot recognize His grace and His salvation. God has left nothing undone that He could do for us. He gave a perfect example of His character and the character of His Son. And it is the work of Christ's followers as they behold the incorruptible excellency of His life and character to grow in His likeness. As they look unto Jesus and respond to His love, they will reflect the image of Christ. This has been an inspiring devotional with Sister Tanya Nugest.